Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a new plugin for the WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is Product Recommendations for WooCommerce. Using this plugin, you can improve the sales on your WooCommerce website. You can easily upsell or cross-sell on your website. You can also create personalized product suggestions on your website. Let me show you some features of this plugin. You can suggest products commonly purchased together. It is nothing but the frequently bought together out of stock backup options. If the product is out of stock, you can also suggest some alternatives to the product, suggest top rated products, top sellers on the product page. So you can show the top selling products on the product page. You can also show new arrivals on the product page, on sale popular products. And basically these are the features available in this plugin, frequently bought together, out of stock product alternatives, the new arrivals on the store, product recommendation placement control, top rated products, best selling products, popular products that are on sale. And the pricing of this plugin is only $24 per year. If you go for a single website, it will cost you only $24 per year. For up to 10 websites, it will cost you $60. And for five websites, it is going to cost you only $40. If you go for lifetime plan, for the single website, it will cost you $60 and you will get lifetime support as well as lifetime updates to the plugin. So I already have this plugin. I'm going to install this plugin and I'll show you how to use this plugin to increase the sales on your WooCommerce website. This plugin is available on the Rex theme. I'll give you the link in the description box. They also have product bundle available on sale. This product bundle will cost you $439. That is lifetime. If I go to annual pricing, the product bundle will cost you only $151.98 per year. In that, you will get all these plugins, product feed manager for WooCommerce, WPVR, that is virtual tool creator. I have already published a video on how to use the WPVR, that is virtual tool creator plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch that video. Then we have cart lift, abandoned cart recovery, product recommendation, dynamic discount, checkoutify, that is checkout field editor. And you will also get access to all future plugins, priority support and always up to date. So this is ongoing sale on their website for the product bundles. You will see all these plugins are available in the product bundle. And in the upcoming videos, I'll show you how to use the other plugins also. So let's see how we can use the product recommendation for WooCommerce plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. And I have already downloaded and installed this plugin, the product recommendation for WooCommerce. When you buy this plugin, you will create an account on their website. And from there, you can download the plugin. I have it here and I have already downloaded the plugin you will also see the license key here you can go to the license key and from there you can get the license key so i have already downloaded and installed the plugin when you install this plugin you will see the option here under woocommerce product recommendation click on it and it will go to the dashboard of this plugin at the top you will see two different options engines and license so in order to use this plugin first you need to go to license and here you can enter your license key and activate the license. Once the plugin is activated, you can go to the engines option. And right now we do not have any engine created. So there are six different types of engines that you can create. So let's start with the first engine. Let's click on create new. So whenever you create a condition, it is called as engine. So here you will see engine status. It is disabled or enabled. So right now it is set to enabled. Here you can enter the title. Let's say I'm going to enter the title for the new arrivals, right? So this is the title. And for the engine type, you will see six different options, frequently bought together, out of stock product alternatives, top rated product, best selling product, new arrival, and on sale popular product. So I'm going to select new arrival. And in the right hand side, you will see placement or visibility location. So if I click on drop down, you will see different options where you can show this new arrival option. For the single product page, there are two different options after single product summary or after add to cart button. And for the archive page, if you want to show the new arrivals on the archive page, it will be before product, after product or no product found. So if there is no product found page, then it will show new arrival on that page. So in this case, I'm going to select, let's say, after add to cart button, select that option. 
here you will see different filter options if, if you want to add any filter you can use the filter option you will see these filter options are available we will use one of these options i'll show you how to use it conditions and value so as of now i'm, going, I'm not going to use the product filter option let's click on register so we have created one engine and this engine is about new arrivals and it is going to show on the single product page let's go to the shop page and let's see if it is working let's select this product and this is add to cart let's refresh it and you will see that new arrivals is showing just after add to cart button it is showing four columns let's go back here you will see the option settings go to settings and from here you can change the number of columns i'm going to select two columns and one product row so it is going to show only two products if you change the number of rows let's say two then it will show two products in each row so it will be total four products so i'm going to make it one and update it let's go back refresh it and you will see only two products and this is the title new arrivals you will see it here so you can change this title also so this is the first engine that we have created let's go back to engines we will create one more click on create new and let's use it for out of stock so this will be the engine's title and uh, from the drop down i'm going to select out of stock product alternatives and it will be shown on the single product page only and let's use the same option again after add to cart button I'll register it make sure that whenever you create an engine the status of the engine is enabled right, let's go to settings and let's make it two again update it right now let's go back and refresh it here it shows new arrivals and here you will see the out of stock option also so let's go back and let's go to edit product and let's see if this product is out of stock let's go to inventory and you will see the quantity of this product is zero if i change it to let's say number two so then it this product will not be out of stock and let's view the product now this product is not out of stock so it should not show the out of stock option here all right and if i make it out of stock let's go to inventory let's make it quantity zero so this is now out of stock click on update let's go to product refresh it and it is showing the out of stock product recommendation however the new arrival is also there so i want to hide this new arrival on the out of stock product so let's go back to the product recommendation go to engines and go to this new arrival option click on edit now i don't want to show the new arrivals on the out of stock so here i'm going to use the advanced filter options and if the product stock status is equal to out of stock so this is going to add a condition to show the new arrivals when the product stock status is equal to out of stock it is not going to show the new arrivals option click on update let's go back refresh it and you can see that it is only showing the out of stock product recommendation the new arrival option is filtered from the products which are out of stock so this is how you can use the conditions to show these type of recommendations on the WooCommerce page let's go back click on create new and let's see which other options are available frequently bought together it will show the frequently bought together if i go to product documentation here you will see that frequently bought together is nothing but it recommends product frequently purchased together based on user shopping pattern and the historical data from the woocommerce order data out of stock we have already seen we have already gone through the out of stock product alternatives top rated products displays products with the highest ratings helping you make informed decisions by considering the community's preference so it will show the highly rated products best selling products recommend the most selling products from your woocommerce store new arrival we have already seen how does this work 
it is nothing but the list of products which are recently added to your woocommerce website on sale popular products presents a selection of popular products currently on sale so if there is any popular product on sale it is going to show that product on the single product page or on the archive page so these recommendations will definitely help you improve the sales on your woocommerce website so these are the options available for the engine type or the recommendation type and these are the options available where to show these recommendations so you can place the recommendation on the single product page or on the product archive page so if you're looking for upsell and cross sell on your woocommerce website you should definitely try considering this plugin and the pricing is also good for the single website it will cost you only 24 dollars per year and if you go for product bundle it will cost you only 151 dollars per year and in that you will get all these plugins and all the future plugins and currently there is a 60 percent discount going on so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.